is the news hour with our nobgos one congress spokesperson chairman of the standing committee abhishek manu singhvi now joins me on the news hour this evening uh, dr singhvi most political parties want a withdrawal of the bill so you can start afresh are you willing to at least consider that look uh, uh, certainly everything is open certainly it is uh, issues being discussed so you can't say that nobody is willing to consider it but i do want to tell you something which i have been saying for many days or not that at one level this debate about withdrawal introduction etc is a completely semantic issue and let me still is a very important question we have a jan lokpal bill physically with us from praveen aran a member of parliament of congress we have a jan lokpal bill from alka sirohi who was the first to depose to us she is the secretary of the ministry of personnel and we of course have the jan lokpal bill on the website of the civil society activists this committee has the jan lokpal bill already it can to a draft available with it the officially introduced government bill it can make 500 changes suppose it picks up 49 out of 50 clauses of jan lokpal is it not semantic to say that please take away this bill please put that bill everything is open to the collective wisdom the vivek uh, the discretion of the committee dr singhvi so is it is it not really largely a semantic debate dr singhvi my my counter to that is that the bill on which this government which the government is pushing is a bill that is totally flawed on its cardinal principles a uh, why would the government insist so much on sticking with a draft that is flawed on its cardinal principles especially when no rule of the constitution will be breached by withdrawing the flawed draft and bringing in a new draft and then your standing committee can look at the new draft all that. over again you I will be that. working on the basis you will be starting with a better Because draft than a draft you are starting with now there are three there there are two or three answers first because in the in your very uh, clever debating fashion you start by assuming what is thought to be proved the government does not use the adjective that you use that it's a fundamentally flawed bill and therefore it should be withdrawn so the government doesn't think that but now let me answer it more widely at the wider level uh, assume that what you call is correct it is a flawed bill it for the standing committee it's not a question of flawed bill or not flawed bill the standing committee has a document before it it can amend the document completely as i said yesterday it can take two clauses out of new zealand two clauses out of a timbuktu country and two clauses out of canada if it thinks they are ideal for india it can take 49 out of 50 clauses of jan lokpal now that standing committee will is there to correct the flaws to best wisdom so the better debate is to say look the standing committee should look at every aspect including jan lokpal it may as i said take two clauses from anna roy's version also no two clauses for for all that matters from your version also and then work out something so where does the concept of a flawed bill remain so, if the bill is flawed so members of so, so i want to, i want to say this and i have breaking news coming in that the meeting is over no breakthrough so far i have had members of aruna roy's team abhishek manu singh be here in my show i have had two esteemed members shekhar singh and before yes, before yes, shekhar singh as well you know we had anjali bhardwaj and they both say that the best thing is to withdraw yes. the bill and start with a new draft you cannot fire over no, aruna roy shoulder see, I, on this i have a, i am not i am not frankly i know i am not quite concerned about that because the government wants to withdraw it probably they can withdraw it i am just trying to explain to you that largely it is a issue which is uh, 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 mesmerizing us for so many hours but it's largely a semantic debate withdraw submit everything is before the committee that's all i'm saying the, the, the government is a done to withdraw it so, is no so problem tell me, so tell but me, i'm so just tell saying me, it's not so so tell thing me mr Bair, Bair, dr Let singh you, what are these talks about What are these talks yes, about? Yes, yes. Now that I want to tell you this, I want to tell you this. Yes, first and foremost, and I think this is the crucial point, which should—it's a message which at least should go out from your channel. Let us assume that everything which civil society is saying is desirable and good. There are at least seven, ten issues like that. Now, even to discuss whether those issues should be added by the government, should in some sense be referred, should in some sense be emphasized, or even considered for that matter. does it not require some time even for this talk which is going on now and should it not therefore be yes. held yes, in a saner discourse model by the fast one second by the fast being at least suspended if i may use a very mild word temporarily 
that's the real crucial question because we are the most concerned and I would not imagine anybody who is not concerned about the health of Mr. Anna Hazare. So it can't be that Mr. Anna Hazare is kind of teetering on a brink and you are trying to discuss a very serious thing. You are bound to make mistakes and do knee-jerk reactions. So why should not Mr. Anna Hazare suspend no, but his fast for some time to me, allow you to be able to go? Kejriwal has very clearly said on stage two and a half hours back that if anything happens to Anna Hazare, he has said it's the government which will be responsible. My question to you is, you say there is some agreement which is being reached between, I mean, these two, not you say, the, the representatives say on, on not bringing the, Prime Minister, on bringing the Prime Minister under the bill, the CBI to some extent, on the judiciary no, there is no, some agreement. No, uh, Will Arnab, you give you that in writing, know, at Arnab, least the points of agreement? Will the government consider to give Arnab, that in writing? Arnab, if the government Arnab, gives that in writing, that then is it not subverting the same process which you claim to be upholding, the parliamentary process? Because if it is in parliament, then these talks which are going on in North Block have no constitutional validity. Look, Arnab, uh, I think we're getting mixed up in a whole lot of things. The talks which are going on, their basic purpose is to decide a and to kind uh, and to ensure that the fast is suspended and withdrawn. His health is not affected, and an agreement is found both on the methodology of going forward, which normally must include a standing committee to which Solly stands referred, but which may, on the basis of talks mean that everything is taken away and the matter goes to parliament. It may also mean the matter goes to parliament not in four days, but in four weeks. Now, if these are matters for discussion. How do I comment on that? But my point is that that discussion can't be a proper sane discussion if you don't give it sufficient time and do it at the point of a gun. Why should Mr. Kejriwal say these things when he should be as concerned about his health? Other people could say the same thing about Mr. Kejriwal. Is that a nice thing to say? Abhishek Manu Singh, we are, I think we are, we are, we are, we are going uh, on, the, on this particular point, as of now at least, it will have to be some kind of a political agreement. We've also had news that uh, Salman Kushid says as well, I have no authority to table a new bill. So there's a total stalemate. Abhishek Manu Singh, we, for putting your point of view across tonight on a country, the, on a night the country continues to be tense.